All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Barsham, Yahushai, Barsham, Akakwadash, double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, bishops and teachers of great millstone, and like minded men who may not be directly part of great millstone but are pushing the same doctrine given to the apostles on down from um, Rome West, initially through Abba Bivins, and now resting with Apostle Taha uh, and the apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect. Men, women, and children of Baifta or Dad, the house of David, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. Um, those was just a quick one from the plantation, so quick video, a bit of information. Macron, who's the leader of um, France, lashes out at, at the US over double standard energy policies. So, <clears throat> the first scripture that came to mind is Revelation 17 and 16. But first, I'm going to start with this scripture. Um, I've only got a few scriptures to mind, so um, we'll go to Ecclesiastes book of Sirach 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. You know, so we've got to be watching, we've got to see what's going on in the world, you know, because um, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Yahushai is going to return as a thief in the night. So those who are not watching, you know, we'll see. With the prophecies where we are where we are at in the prophecies you know we've got like the apostles have said is the MOTB is the World War three and the Hawashai's return that's where we're at and um, part of the um, <clears throat> the WW3 yeah is um the the, the beast the ten horns um, turning on the whore yeah so I'm gonna read this article then get that scripture Lord's will um, this is from the, 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 the Zero Hedge yesterday, October 22nd, 2022. US trade and energy policies have created a double standard with Europe left paying higher prices for its natural gas, French President Emmanuel Macron said on Friday. <clears throat> France, the latest and largest country to withdraw from the Energy Charter Treaty, has switched from being a net exporter or of energy last year to being a net importer of energy this year. So lucky for this, like I said, I'm at the plantation. After problems with its, nu with its nuclear fleet surfaced, to compensate for its declining nuclear fleet and Russia's complete halt of natural gas shipments into the country France has turned sorry <coughs> nuclear fleet and Russia's complete halt of natural gas shipments into the country France has turned to the United States for <coughs> LNG <coughs> liquid, that's liquid natural gas gas only Macron is unhappy with the price it's paying so basically they're paying higher prices and the French president is part of the beast which is NATO in the EU. Um, to prove that, I'll go into um, some, a book that I had from a long time ago. Yeah, to show you that um, the EU was set up, um, e European EEC was set up, and now it's um, part of the beast under the Treaty of Rome. Yeah, which is NATO is also um, part of the beast. You know, NATO encompasses other countries other than the European Union countries. <clears throat> NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the whore that rides the beast is America, Babylon the Great. US natural gas exports to France increased 420 US natural gas exports to France increased 421% during the first eight months of 2022. But the value of, of that la li liquid natural gas increased by 1,094% in August alone due to the higher prices of LNG. The North American con economy is making choices for the sake of uh, attractiveness, which I respect, but they create a double standard. So what we see in here, says Macron, he explained it in Brussels, a conference on Friday. So what we see in here is um, the nations beginning to hate the whore. Yeah, the beast beginning to hate them. The I'll get that now, in fact. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 
revelation I'm going to go straight to the point. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That's referring to the nukes. The Europe will eventually, well, the E, the European Union, yeah, the beast will eventually <clears throat> turn and fire nuclear weapons, ICBMs, at. Um, America, yeah, at um, the the Great Hall, Babylon the Great, right. And what we see in, in Macron's statement is just the beginning of um, resentment from these nations, right, um, at America and the way it's playing its game. Yeah. So let me just go to a few things that I've got here. One second. We've got so EU EU law, yeah. Um, this is a book that I'm getting this from, Sylvia Griggs, second edition. <clears throat> this goes into how the EEC was set up. The first stages of formal European economic integration predate the European Economic Community Treaty, going back to the ad adoption of the European Council and the Steel Community Treaty, 1961. Yeah. So we're going to go into the different treatise, yeah. All right, and we're going to go back down to the highlighted at the bottom of the paragraph. The ECSC treaty signed in Paris by France, yeah, who's, who's Macron's the head of now, the president of France, Germany, Italy, Belgium, and Netherlands. Luxembourg and Luxembourg created a common market in coal and in steel regulated by four institutions. Go to the next page. I'm just going to read the highlighted points, yeah? All right, so we've got, um, I'm going to go to Next Steps EEC in European Treaty in 1957. This is to prove the point that um, the EEC is part of the beast, along with NATO. The EEC Treaty extended economic integration beyond coal and steel, creating a union incorporating the free movement of goods between member states and Customs tariffs, back down to the um, highlighted points. Alongside the EEC Treaty, the founding states also signed the European Atomic Energy <coughs> Community Treaty, the Euratom Treaty, which regulated nuclear power, the EEC, and the Euratom Treaties were signed in Rome in 1957, right? And they're called the Treaties of Rome. And what does that establish? That establishes the beast system, NATO and the EU. Yeah, You see the formulation of the beast system in 1957. All right. So the point here is, you see the establishment of the beast system yeah, with um, the EEC. All right. <clears throat> And the ten horns, right, which were initially those countries, and then it's expanded, and that's like 27 different nations in the um, European community. <laughs> the fact that Macron is moaning and saying that the deal that they've got with the US, which is the the, the, the whore that rides the beast, is not fair, right? And eventually, it will lead to the um, the horns which is the EEC, the beast, turning on the whole, yeah, which is America, and just firing nukes at them. So that's just a quick point, you know what I mean? We're seeing the prophecies being made out, um, being, being played out here. Let me get this picture here. The vision of the appointed time is Habakkuk 5, and, um, 2 and 3. I'm just going to read this one. <clears throat> So, um, Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. 
it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. So whatever Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai say is going to happen. And what's going to happen is, eventually, the European Union will turn, and then um, NATO countries, the beast will turn, or the ten horns will turn on the whole. Yeah, America, and fire ICBM missiles upon it. I'm going to many other different scriptures, but I'm using what Macron's statement is as kind of um, a catalyst or an example of that eventual turning of the European nations onto America. With that, Lord's will, it is clarifying, um, edifying to the elect from the hopeful elect. I'm going to say Shalom.